Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some GeoGuessr. We're going to play a, a World of 3 Minute Challenge, as is our bread and butter. I'll admit this week we have not had a lot of GeoGuessr variety in terms of, uh, you know, individual country challenges, but sometimes you just have to do a week of world challenges, and I think that that was, this is the week. Uh, we're in Sweden, by the way. Nearly guaranteed. I do appreciate the challenges that we have received in. Of course, we have already done the challenge yesterday from Lanson. Tomorrow, we're going to have a challenge from Bailey Quinnell, who is a, a longtime watcher and hasn't contributed in a while. So welcome back, Bailey. Excited to see your work and uh, where you're going to take us. But right now, we are in Sweden somewhere trying to figure it out. We're definitely in a, a fjord-like environment. It's a nice little greenhouse down there, it looked like. Wow. I mean, just wow. I don't know if I'd build buildings that close because, you know, flooding, but... Wow. There's beauty in America, too. Don't get me wrong. It's, I'm not, like, saying, oh, my country is ugly. No, 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 no. But this environment is unlike any environment that you would find in the continental United States. Contiguous United States, if you will, because technically Alaska is still on this same continent. What do we got here? I just caution I mean, this could very easily be in Norway, and if it is, oh well. It's the north of whichever country, that's for sure. We're heading south, there's water to our south. It's certainly feasible in both countries. Come on. But honestly, it's more likely to be in Sweden. We're like up by Tor, Calix, somewhere in here. Or, well, like I said, we're in Norway. I mean, I don't know why you didn't believe me. But, I mean, that's that's the type of area it is. And actually, it was the south of Norway. Very fjord-like. Trust. Oh, good lord. United States. Nice bridge. We're going to try and go towards the nice bridge. Hopefully the nice bridge has a nice camera. Really? Oh, it does. Well, that worked out. Uh, Walker Brook was the name of that road. Which way do we want to go? Do we want to go over the bridge back towards the town? Let's go over the bridge back towards what looks like maybe a town. That is the flag, I believe. I can't really tell, but it kind of looks like the flag of the great state of Michigan. It really does, quite a bit. It's tough to say, though, because I can't tell if on the side of that is the King Deal. King Deer? Nope, it's the state of Maine. We are in the great state of Maine. Okay. Maine, we're entering what? Entering St. John Valley on the main scenic route. St. John Valley, huh? So I've learned today the state flag of Maine looks very similar to the state flag of Michigan. Boy, they like the U.S. here in Maine. St. John Valley, Maine. I don't think I'm going to find a place that just says St. Well, I mean, maybe. What do you think it says St. John Valley? No? Okay. Well, I've got a minute. I mean, Maine's not that big. I could just put it in the middle and be done, but... Caution! High hit area. What are you, are you edging the side of... I mean, what's going on with that? Man! I could flags on every other telephone pole. That's kind of crazy. I'm all about civic pride, but 
Seems excessive. Don't know this one well enough to sing to it yet. I apologize. That doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. Lucky for you, it's over. This is probably my favorite track on the list. I'm not entirely certain on that, but it's pretty up there. Alright, well, I mean, main, right? Maybe we're by Banger. Um, let's say we're over here. Ooh, way up in the north. Just outside of Alagash! Oh, that's the St. John River, of course. Old Ferry Road, that's not what it said. Oh, Walker Brook Road is the one with the bridge. Oh, I see. Alright. Lovely. We are in the United States again. So, GeoGuessr is trying to get me to do a US Perfect Score Challenge. Uh, maybe on Sunday. Alright. Clearly the United States. White plates, but that doesn't really mean anything. Let's come out to the main road here. Um, back one, please. I'd like to see the name of the road. Okay, fine. Back two. Uh, Sycamore and Meadow. Alright, so we started on Meadow. We're crossing Sycamore. Hmm. One way doesn't really look more promising than the other. Here to be in a largely residential zone. I'd like to be able to use the circle instead of that. But it does not appear to be in the cards. No, nope, I mean nothing. Come on. I cannot use the circle at all. That's horrible. Now we are on Valpico. It's trying not to let me go this way. I'll go that way if I want to go that way. Fine, for now. I'll humor you and go this way. Can I use... There we go. Jeez. Hmm. 90 seconds left to figure out what state we're in. There's a Walgreens. It doesn't really help. And Tracy Boulevard. Uh, we're going to keep going on this one. This seems to be the main drag. Valpico. Arco, I don't even know. I don't know what brand of petrol that is. Starbucks, of course, because there's always a Starbucks. They are so ubiquitous. It lends itself very easily to Lewis Black's joke. He's been to the end of the world. Because he's been to Houston, Texas, California. All right. And it is uh, a place where there's a Starbucks across the street from another Starbucks. The rest of his joke is very funny. I encourage you to look it up. Alright, well, Tracy, California. That's going to be impossible to find. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's say we're like somewhere outside of San Bernardino. Or up by San Francisco. Certainly one of those two. Yeah, I wouldn't have seen it up by San Francisco either. That's all right. I mean, that's just you're making your guess at California. Oh, good lord! We're in the United States again. Um, we're on the something 234. Are we on the Wyoming 234? No, we're on the Indiana 234 West. All right. Well. Look, that's not, that's not exactly a big road. Shade State Park is that way, so maybe that'll help us. We're in the Indiana 234 West, Shades State Park. Um, there's some green. That's so watchy. I'm trying to look for 234 and also patches of green to see if we can find Shades State. That's a country club. 234 it was. 
Stupid village in the middle of Ohio. It's also apparently in Indiana. Confusing. 234 East West Marsh Lake, Polgagon. Hmm. Try not to get confused by let's let's yeah, I was gonna say let's do not just one level. We'll get the county roads out of there. Let's try and focus on state roads. I don't see 234 anywhere yet, do you? Lots of state parks, as it turns out. Which is a good and bad thing, really. 225. Come on, Indiana, help me out a little bit more, would you? Got some friends living in Indiana. I should give them a quick call. Hey, where's Shady, whatever, state forest? State park. What is it? Shades State Park. Where is that? Help me out. Hmm. Indianapolis. I was actually going there for work for a uh, about a week and a half. I'll be living the bachelor lifestyle. Look out, Columbus. Because nothing is going to happen at all. Am I the 234 or the 244? 234. That's a shame. Look, I have no idea where I am. I'm in Indiana. Indianapolis is in the middle of it. Boom. Just on the other side of Indianapolis. 234. There's Shade State Park. Looks lovely. Alright, five out of five. We've got a yellow and a white line in the middle, so we are finally not in the United States. There's nothing that way. Well, I mean, there's stuff that way, but... We're going to head this way first. We're heading west first. Wagons west. It's not about to play the same song twice, is it? No, I don't think so. No, it just sounds very similar at the beginning. That's crazy. Wild. Okay, sorry. The only one I'm hurting myself is myself. Because I'm losing out on time to guess. It looks like Norway or Sweden. Finland, maybe. Right, because all the birch. I'm sorry. Did that say moose? Indeed. Well, the stereotype would be Sweden then, right? That would be the stereotype. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, click trigger fat happy. Broken Salo, 62, it is yellow. Yellow roads, yellow are in uh, Finland, are they? They are. 62. There's 5. 54. 46. We're going this way. 40s. 65. 6. Show me the 62. Show me 62! <laughs> 63. 68. Come on. Don't do me dirty. 80s and the 50s still. Why are you doing this to me, Finland? Why can't you just show me where 62 is? Why do you gotta be all coy? Alright, let's go back down. Finland, where do you keep your moose? You keep your moose in the south or you keep your moose in the north? East, west, 62! I don't know where we are along on the 62. We're going to start with that. Roken Salo. Roken Salo. I have 16 seconds to try and find Roken Salo. I see it. I see it. No, okay, I can't find it. Ah, oh, it's up over here. Ah. 
Excellent. Well, it was very, very entertaining. Other than that horrible Sweden versus Norway guess, we did very, very well. This, it's just a, another continuation of great, great GeoGuessr luck. I mean, we might want to try that US Perfect score on Sunday just to, to give it a go. But like I said, tomorrow is dedicated to Bailey Quinnell's challenge. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, we'll, we'll give it a go then. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.